Hey everybody, so EPR Properties is a stock I talk about often. It pays over 7% as a dividend yield on a monthly basis, and it's been in some trouble lately. Its biggest, One of its biggest tenants, Regal Entertainment, has been going through bankruptcy proceedings. We recently got a big update on that, so I want to go through all the news. Before we do, please take a minute and click subscribe to my channel if you don't already, and please check out the link you see on your screen from my sponsor, The Motley Fool. It's the best way to support the work I do, and you can get the top 10 stocks to buy right now. So EPR Properties was one of the best performing REITs in the 2022 downturn until one event happened last year. Cineworld, the parent company of Regal Entertainment, which is one of EPR's biggest tenants, declared bankruptcy. Cine, uh, Regal leases 57 of its theater properties, some of the best performing ones in its portfolio from EPR. So this was a big deal and it created a lot of uncertainty. Now, we recently learned that Cineworld is going to exit bankruptcy next month in July and it, EPR recently gave some its shareholders an update on what's going on. So Regal's leases have been restructured. And the short answer is, it appears that the, the situation is over um, and we know what's going on now. So here's the details. So 41 of the 57 properties are going to continue to be Regal Entertainment Theaters and are being placed under one new master lease. The master lease has two components to its rent. It's a triple net lease with a $65 million annual base rent, and that goes up by 10% every five years. So some inflation protection built in there, but the third bullet is really what's interesting here. Regal is also going to pay EPR a percentage of its sales if they exceed $220 million in any given year, and $220 million was how much Regal's box office um, sales were at these 41 theaters in 2022. So if it beats its 2022 performance theater-wise, which it should because 2022, we were still kind of recovering from COVID, um, EPR gets even more money. So what about the other properties? So EPR is taking back the other 16 theaters. Five will be operated by other operators. Eleven more. The other 11 will be marketed for sale. One of EPR's goals is to reduce its dependence on theaters, which is by far its bigger, biggest property type. And now it's going to sell 11 of these Regal theaters and will free up some cash and reduce its exposure to theaters. So what does it mean for investors? 2024 is going to be the first full year under this new lease agreement. And EPR estimates that even with just 41 out of 57 properties on that lease, it's going to achieve 96% of what it was getting from Regal before the bankruptcy from 57 properties. And it could be even more than that 96% figure if Regal's revenue or box office revenue in general is better than expected. So the key takeaways that investors need to know, number one, EPR is replacing almost all of its previous Regal rent. It's not taking a big hit on rent. Even if Regal doesn't have to pay that performance-based bonus, it's still going to replace about 80% of its pre-bankruptcy rent from Regal. And there's additional upside potential and a nice downside floor because the base rent is pretty high. Cineworld is a much healthier company. So Regal is not going to be, or EPR doesn't really have to worry about the company, the theater operator falling into more trouble. Its debt is being reduced from $5 billion to about $1.5 billion as a result of this bankruptcy. And last but certainly not least, EPR is going to sell 11 theater properties, which will free up some cash to invest elsewhere and generate income. And will have the side effect of reducing its theater concentration, which is a big priority of management. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to click subscribe if you don't subscribe to my channel already. And as always, this video is sponsored by The Motley Fool. Be sure to visit www.fool.com slash Frankel to receive the 10, top 10 best stocks to buy now.